morning class you are welcome to primary pulse lesson our lesson today is about victory over the devil before we continue let us pray our heavenly father we thank you for this morning we thank you lord for keeping us throughout the whole week now that we want to learn our lesson come and help us Help us to listen and to obey your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to read from Matthew 4, verse 1 to 11. But we are just going to read a few verses. Matthew chapter 4, verse 1. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. We are going to end there for today. We are going to, I will tell you more about the reading later. Uh, what can you see? That's an umbrella. Why do we need an umbrella? When it's raining and you don't carry your umbrella, you'll be all wet. How many of you want to be wet? I don't want to be wet. So if you don't want to be wet and it's raining, you must carry your umbrella. Today, I want you to think of an umbrella as something that you need to protect yourself from the devil. Prayer and the word of God is the umbrella you need to protect yourself from the voice of the devil. Why am I saying that? Do you know that as we live every day of our lives, there are two voices. How many voices? Yes, two voices. There's always a good voice. That comes from the word of God, the Bible. That is the voice of Jesus. That voice is a good voice. It's always telling us to do good things, wonderful things. When we do those things, we'll get to heaven. But there's another voice that's a very bad voice. It's the voice of the devil. He's called the tempter. The big word actually says temptation. He comes with things that he tells us to do and those things are very bad. And if we listen to him, we won't get to heaven. We'll get to a bad place, hellfire. And I'm sure you don't want to go to that place. We all want to get to heaven. So we want to listen to the good voice. So, in our text, can you imagine the devil tried to tell Jesus some bad things as well? He told him three things that are recorded in this chapter that he was trying to tell Jesus. Thank God. Do you know why Jesus had victory? He had the umbrella. Do you remember we read that he was praying for 40 days and 40 nights and not eating. He was seriously praying and he knew the word of God. He is the word of God anyway. So he used prayer and the word of God to defeat the devil. What did he use? Yes, prayer and the word of God. You heard me right. If we too use that, we will have victory. Now, let me tell you what the devil told Jesus. Can you imagine? What is this? A stone. These are stones. The devil said to Jesus, change those stones into bread. To change this stone into bread. Jesus said no. He used the word of God. To say it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. 
And the devil came again. He said, you know what? You can go to the top of the temple and drop yourself down. And God is going to protect you. Jesus used the word of God. He said, no, it is written again. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. You don't do things and just uh, that are so dangerous. And then you say, uh, God, you can protect me. We don't do that. It's called tempting God. It's not allowed. We shouldn't do that. The devil came again. He said, you know what? Look at all these beautiful kingdoms. If you worship me, I will give you all of them. Can you imagine such a lie when Jesus owns everything? But Jesus used the word of God again and he actually said, Get thee! Hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou save. We are only supposed to worship Jesus and not the devil. So Jesus actually sent the devil away using the word of God. And don't forget, he was praying. Prayer is powerful. Do you know, little children, we too can pray. That's why it is very important every day. You know, we sing that song, read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day. Pray every day. It's very important to read our Bible and to pray every day so that when this bad voice of the uh, devil comes, we'll be able to have victory. We won't listen. Do you know what he says sometimes? Mm. Sometimes he comes to you and says, you see, look at that chocolate. Mommy is not looking. You can take one. Mommy will never know. You know what? Even if mommy will not know, Jesus will know. Sometimes it's a cookie. Sometimes it's a piece of chicken or a piece of cake or anything nice. That is not yours. That uh, You are not given. You shouldn't, tell, you shouldn't take it. Because we know if you take something without being given, it's called stealing. So it's the voice of the devil. We don't listen to that. We listen to the good voice. The good voice will say, don't take that. That is not yours. Wait for mommy or wait for your sister or wait for an, an adult to give you. That's a good voice. We want to listen to Jesus. Can you say that with me? Listen to Jesus. Yes, we only listen to the voice of Jesus. Because that is the good voice that will take us all to heaven. If you really want to have victory, it's very important to be sure your heart is clean. You know, if your heart is not clean, you won't be able to, to even pray or read the word of God all the time. So that's why it's very important to make sure you are all saved. Just go to Jesus, pray to say, Jesus, save my soul. I don't want to listen to the voice of the devil. I want to listen to your voice all the days of my life. And he is going to answer you, save your soul, and he will make your ears to hear him. Because in another verse, he says, my sheep hear my voice. So if you are saved, you'll be able to hear the voice of Jesus. Remember, we only listen to Jesus. We only listen listen to Jesus. So we want to listen to Jesus. Thank you very much for being good boys and good girls. I know you are going to pray so that Jesus can clean your heart and you'll be able to listen to Jesus, not to be tempted by the devil and hear the devil's voice. For our activities, two to five is displayed and six to eight I want you to think of a verse, a Bible verse, that you can use to defeat the devil. If he comes to whisper a bad thing, which verse can you use? So think of all those verses that you can use. Our next 
week's lesson is as displayed. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Bye. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Answer Class. May God come and bless us today and plant His word in our heart. Amen. We are studying lesson 73, Title, An Example of Faith. Shall we all say it after the count of two? One, two, an example of faith. Our Bible reading is taken from 1 King chapter 17, verses 8 to 16. But we're only going to read a few verses because of our time. Let's take our Bible. I'll start from verse 13. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. For thus said the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of me shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail until the day that the Lord sent that rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he and her house did it many days. Amen. Boys and girls, what can we see? What is written here is oil. Can you see? It's very, very small oil. Can you see? That is what we read about in our Bible lesson the bible text and here what can you see it says flour that's it that's the barrel of flour the handful that the widow has in our bible reading of today we will read we will learn more about this as we go on in our lesson thank you in our story lesson of today we learned about reuben and his grandmother his grandmother was the widow of Seraphat. The grandmother was telling the story about how there was famine in the land and there was no food to eat, no rain, and everyone was hungry. And how the man of God came to her and told her to prepare a meal for him out of the little oil, which is the one, which is the one I showed to you before, you see how small the little oil and the little flour, which is harmful, that she got left, she wanted to prepare for herself and her son, so that they can eat and die. The man of God instructed her, and how she obeyed the man of God. She believed. And have faith in what the man of God said to her that the oil will not dry, yeah, and this barrel of flour will not finish. So she followed. She obeyed the man of God. She was ready to share what she got with the man of God. So she went and prepared for the man of God first. And Guess what happened, boys and girls? After she prepared for man of God, for the man of God, the man of God told her now, go and prepare for yourself and your son. Remember, he was little left. And do you guess, guess what happened? She went there and to go and prepare for herself and her son. Let's see. Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. Look at the oil. Remember, it was very little. God has blessed it for them. And let's see what happened to the flower as well. Because she needs to go and prepare for herself and her son now. What happened to the flower? Let's see. Let me get the flower out. Remember, the flower was small. Now, look, it's a lot. That was what happened because she obeyed the man of God. And that is what happened. When we obey, we have faith in God, God will help us. And that was how God 
look after them and fed them throughout the time of the famine and they were not hungry. So may God help us to have faith in him and be obedient and ready to share our things with other people. And she told the story to Reuben and Reuben loved the story so much. So may God come and help us and plant faith in our hearts. Amen. Boys and girls, what can you see? That's key to my car. And I have the key to my house. I believe that if I use this key to open my house, I will get inside. And this key, I can use it for my car. It will take me around. I can start it. Also, I got this phone. And I have camera there. I believe if I use these cameras to take you, yes, I can send the picture to you. You will see yourself. So, also, I've got a ready-made letter. I prepared this letter. I want to post it. And I believe that if the letter is posted, it will get to the person that I want the letter to reach. So, if they don't believe in all these things, it's man-made one. It, this man that made this, the phone, and they are the one that will help to process the letter. How much more God? Boys and girls, who made us, who created us, and created us people that made all these things. So may God help us to have faith in him and to believe in him. And when we believe in him, he will bless us mightily. Amen. And I have two questions for you. Let's look at this question quickly. Question one, explain the importance of faith, obedience, and sharing in our lesson story of today. In our lesson of today, I mean. Importance, uh, the faith, because of faith, that woman of Sarafat was able to God bless her because he had faith in what the man of God told her. Yes, and God was able to take care of her and her son and also the man of God. What of obedience? The woman obeyed because he obeyed. If he has, you know, decided not to obey the man of God and just had that food, they could have died. Herself and her son. But he obeyed the man of God. So may God come and help us to be obedient. And she was able to share. She was ready to share. When we share, God will bless us. And that was how God blessed the barrel of flour and the coats of oil. Enough for them to last them through the famine period. May God help us. Amen. Also, we have question two. How important is faith in your life, in my life? And what has it done for you? Faith is important because... He says, with, without faith, it is impossible to, to please God. So when we have faith, we'll be able to please Him and God can bless us. And what has it done? It has helped me when I'm sick, I have faith, I pray God heal me. I'm sure it must have helped you in your studies as well. And you have passed your exam. So may God come and help us and have to help us to have faith in Him. Amen. So, um, Remember our statement for the lesson story of uh, for our lesson of today. I will have faith. I will have faith. I must have faith. I mean, I must have faith. The activities for today is the widow of Seraphat is an example of faith in action. So we are going to find some of the words used in the lesson and circle them in all the letters written there cipher each one of them and circle them and that will be our activities let's put our hands together and pray Father Lord God we thank you for today thank you for the answer class thank you for primary part come and plant your faith in our heart oh Lord help us to have faith in you save our soul Lord Jesus help the primary part as well to be able to say no to Satan when you come to me wanting them to do bad things oh Lord Come with our heart, bless us and make us a blessing. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Bye-bye, boys and girls. See you next week. Bye. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining today's Sunday School. We hope and pray you enjoyed. Have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Bye.